everybody. Welcome to today's session. We have got an awesome end-to-end -end demo. What we're going to show are three function calling models working in conjunction with two web services. And the output is going to be what you see on the screen. And we're going to run through this. We're going to run it all live. And we're actually going to do all of it locally. So everything that you're about to see is actually running locally on my laptop. So what you see in front of you on the screen, this is a, a structured analysis of a company. It has 30 different keys that we've extracted through a combination of different techniques. The primary source is calls that we've made using specialized LLM running locally to extract, summarize, and answer questions. And then we've used those lookups that we've been able to derive from the model to automatically pass it into a web service, extract further information from that web service, getting accurate fact-based information, in this case, about a company and about its stock. And then we merge all of that together and we put it into this beautiful end-to-end -end dictionary. So this is what we're gonna go do. We wanted to show it to you up front. Hopefully you're excited. Let's dive in. Let's take a look at the code and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run it. All right, so here is the code. You can go pull this down. This is one of the slim agent examples in the LMware GitHub repository. You can pull it down copy it and go ahead and run it directly locally on your own machine. As I mentioned, we're gonna use two web services here. We're gonna use Yahoo Finance, which is one of the old kind of standard classic, but free and completely open financial stock ticker APIs. So we're gonna use Yahoo Finance. And then we're also gonna use Wikipedia to pull some fact-based background information about the company. And then as I mentioned, we're gonna use three different models, all of which have, are small specialized models. We're gonna use the Slim Extract tool, the Slim Summary tool, and then the Bling Stable LM3B tool. And we're gonna show throughout this how each of them is contributing to this analysis. Now the starting point is just a financial earnings release. Again, you can spend a, a second or to look through this. We actually pulled this off a CNBC, kind of a classic earnings release, chock full of all kinds of numbers and details. And what we wanted to do was start, we're gonna load our three models. And then what we really wanna do, because those paragraphs can actually be pretty difficult to read, we wanna to start to build some automation around this. And so we wanna extract several key pieces of information from this earnings release. The stock ticker, the company name, total revenues, restructuring charges, if any, are mentioned in the passage. Digital growth, because this is one of the key metrics that we're looking at. And then the comment from the CEO. And then finally, the quarter end date. And so no complex prompts, no open AI call. All of this is gonna be running locally using the Slim Extract tool. And all we're gonna pass, because it's a specialized function calling model that all it does is extract things. All we have to do is actually pass in the name of the key that we're looking for, and it's gonna go read the passage, understand that key, and give us a dictionary with that key and the values that it finds in that paragraph. So that's where we're going to start. The second piece of the analysis, though, is once we've extracted that information from this text, we're going to do something that we think is one of the most common patterns that people want to use LLMs for in any kind of complex research. And that is read some passage, extract key information then that you can use as a lookup. And in this case, we're going to use the stock ticker. We're going to use the stock ticker as a lookup that we're gonna go push um, into the Yahoo Finance service and extract up-to-date financial information from Yahoo Finance. And then we're gonna extract the company name. And then we're gonna use the company name to go programmatically run a search in Wikipedia and then bring all of those results back. So this middle piece of the code, this is we're pulling out that stock ticker that our model has gone and found for us. We then call the Yahoo Finance API. You can see we use this API. If you haven't used it before, it's kind of fun. So uh, we print out to the screen. We show you some of the um, attributes and information that it can go get for you. We push these things into our research summary dictionary. And then we reach the last step, which is we're going to use the company name. The company name, we're going to go call the Wikipedia web service pull back a bunch of information about Nike in this case. And then once we've pulled that back, then we're gonna run a bunch of follow-up analysis. So with that Wikipedia information in hand, we wanna then start asking some questions to it. We wanted to give a, a short summary, help summarize kind of the first couple of paragraphs of that Wikipedia article on Nike, and then answer a few specific questions about the company founding date, a short business description, a question you know, about the business, what is an overview of the business, what is the origin of the company's name, what are the product names, and then we're done, and then we're gonna do a little bit of pretty printing, we're gonna print out that dictionary that we've aggregated through all of these different LLM calls and web services, 
We're gonna put it all together and we're gonna show it on the screen. So I hope you guys are excited. Let's go ahead and run this. Now, the first time you do this, if you're downloading these models for the first time, it'll take a minute or two. Since they're already cached locally, maybe it's 10 seconds or so to load into memory. And you can see we're, we're off and running. So it's going through and doing each of the things that we asked it to extract, the stock ticker, the company name, the revenues, the restructuring charges. And remember, all of this is that text passage, that earnings release being passed into a small, specialized, locally running model that's then returning for us this beautiful, nice little dictionary key of the stock ticker and the value that it found, the company name and the company. Total revenues, the quarter end date. It extracted all that useful stuff. You can see then we've already clicked through the second step. We pushed this to Yahoo Finance. We extracted all this up-to-date fact-based stock information about Nike. And now we've made the call to Wikipedia using the company name as the lookup. And now we're running through a whole series of additional with the Slim Summary model, the Slim Extract model, and the question answering tool. So all of these, again, were individual LLM calls, all of them running locally, all of them extracting information out of this Wikipedia article. And then as promised, you know, where we started, here we go. In what, 30 seconds or so, we were able to perform complex structured analysis. We were able to do automated lookups, calling two web services, bringing all that information together using three small specialized function calling models. And here we have this beautiful and replicable programmatic analysis and a dictionary of a key research topic with Nike. So we think this is actually a pretty exciting end-to-end -end scenario and really starts to bring to life some of the capabilities of bringing together agents with function calls with web services. As I said up front, all of this code is available in the LLM or GitHub repository in the Slim Agents section. Any questions, issues, ideas, any thoughts about this, please come join our community on Discord. Everybody has a wonderful day. Thanks, everyone.